Hello, this is Janice from Space to Relax and the video I'm about to show you is a replay of a live Qigong class which I taught this morning via Zoom. This video is suitable for those of you who are beginners and also anyone who might have a little bit more advanced Qigong training. I hope you enjoy it and if you'd like to join me for the live classes then please click the link which is next to this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then so you don't miss future videos that I upload here, just hit the red subscribe button. Hello everyone, you're very welcome to the lesson today. And today's lesson topic was suggested by a couple of uh, people who are members of my Space to Relax program or have done the Space to Relax three day Qigong challenge with me. So that would be Dee and Mariana, thank you so much for your suggestion for the class today, which is all about how to use Qigong in order to restore emotional balance, but not using it in a way where you're just sitting breathing and meditating in order to bring about more of a sense of calm or positivity, but actually using physical body movements in order to bring about an emotional release and then bring in more positive chi, more uplifting chi, which will improve your mood and give you that bit more energy and a bit of a lift. So what, what's really important in today's class is to understand that in terms of Chinese medicine and qigong, that there is no separation between the physical body and the mental or emotional aspect of what is going on within you as a person. So, for example, the lung system in Chinese medicine and in Qigong is responsible, partly at least, for the function of breathing, that physical function of breathing in and out, as it is in, in conventional medicine. We know that the lungs help us to breathe. Um, but also in Chinese medicine and Qigong, the lung system is responsible for your sense of value and self-worth on that kind of mental and emotional level. It's also responsible and connected with the emotion of grief. And so if you suffer great loss or grief, then your lung system, your physical lung system can be damaged. And also if your physical lung system is damaged on, by, on the, the other side of the coin, um, then you can actually notice a depression in your mood in terms of sadness and grief and that, those kind of feelings associated with the lung. So if you take away anything from today's class, please understand that you have the power by using really simple physical movements to move any emotional stagnation, to rid any emotions that may be unwanted from your system, from your body, but you don't have to think about how that happens. You just have to move your body. By moving your body, you're moving the chi on a physical, emotional, mental, and a spiritual level. So hopefully now, these simple movements will give you an idea of what you can do. And basically all qigong movement will do this to some extent. But as most of you know by now, qigong is a combination of movement, breath, and the use of your mind. So we'll bring a little bit of the mind into this as well today. Um, and just combine all three and see if at the end of this session you feel a little bit more light on that emotional kind of side of things. So just to begin with, you can sit or you can stand for this practice and whatever position you're in, make sure that you're sitting up straight or that your spine is straight when you're standing. So you want to make sure that the lower back area is not unnecessarily curved. You don't want a really large curve in the lower back. You want to be sitting up with your pelvis tucked under, sitting up straight. And also check that there's length in the back of the neck so that your head is not tilted up or too far down. You want to be pulling the, chest, the chin back towards the throat, towards the chest area, just to give you that lovely kind of elevation of the back of the neck here. And then when you find a comfortable position, just close your eyes for a moment. And close your mouth. Bring a smile to the corners of your mouth. Smiling from the inside to the outside. And just check that the tongue is resting against the roof of the mouth. 
and the tip of the tongue is resting against the back of the upper teeth. And settling into your practice now, by breathing in and out through the nose. So in Qigong practice, the mouth is usually closed when we're breathing. Breathing in, feeling the belly expand in all directions, forward, sideways, back towards the spine. And then as you breathe out, feeling the belly shrink. So having that idea of the inflation and deflation of a balloon in the lower abdomen area. So breathing in, the belly expands outwards in all directions, backwards as well. And then as you breathe out, the belly shrinks. And settling into your practice now by relaxing your body, letting go of any tension as you breathe out, and relaxing your mind. Calming the mind, bringing the mind to Dantian, which is this lower belly area that you're breathing into. This is your energy center, this is your powerhouse of chi, where your chi reservoir is, and where the chi is circulated from to the whole of the rest of the body in order to energize and rebalance your health. And now just gently opening your eyes so that you can see me. So we're going to focus today on using a simple movement or series of movements in order to firstly release any blocked emotion, any stagnation of emotion, anything where you feel emotionally, emotionally a little bit stuck. And then we're going to use the movements as well in order to draw in clean, fresh, energizing chi. That's the principle of it. But So understand that in your thinking right now, but then just let that go and just focus on the movements and really enjoy the flow of the movement, knowing that your intention has already been set to make this emotional transformation and that then the movements and the movement of the chi on the inside will do that for you. So just very gently now, and oh, I will say just before we start, we are going to be lifting the arms and moving the shoulders a little bit. So if you have any restriction or any difficulty in moving in those areas of the body, also if you have any neck problems, just only go as far as you can go where it's still comfortable for you with these movements. So don't just follow me and be in excruciating pain. Just listen to your body and only go for as far as you can go with the movements. Even if you can't go that far, you're still moving the chi, you're still creating those favorable conditions for emotional balance. So it's all good. Okay, so now, just beginning by lifting up the arms so the elbows come up level with the shoulders and the hands are just kind of up here in kind of loose fists. So not really tight, but just kind of loosely cut the fingers are loosely curled inwards towards the palms. Okay, and from here, take a breath in into your belly. And then as you breathe out, just move the arms back just a small bit and feel the shoulder blades pulling together. And then breathe in, move the arms forwards. Breathe out, move the arms back. And some of you may have done this exercise before in a previous live class, which was to do with Qigong for arms and shoulders. Breathing in, breathing out. So really feel like there's a valley between your shoulder blades as you breathe out here. Breathing in, breathing out. Create that broadness across the front of the collarbones. Breathing in. And this time as you breathe out, think of just releasing anything that needs to be released. Opening everything up, just releasing. Breathing in. 
and releasing. And if you want to close your eyes now for this movement, please feel free to do so, breathing in, breathing out and releasing. One more time, breathing in, breathing out and releasing. And now just let your hands go back down by your sides just to give your arms a little bit of a rest. You might want to shake them out. And just feel if you can now, maybe just with your arms by your sides, nice and still and relaxed, just feel that openness in the whole of the front of the body. We often work in a very kind of hunched position. Everything we do, we drive in this hunched position. We work on laptop screens and we're, we're always doing kind of forwards movements. So that idea of creating broadness across the collarbones, across the front of the chest area here, is actually something that we all neglect. We don't work so much into this front part of the body. And also when you're doing this and creating that broadness here, you're also giving the muscles in your back a bit of a break by creating this valley in between the shoulder blades so that those muscles are not stretched so much. It's relaxing the muscles that are in, kind of run either side of the spine, and they often get very tight, and people can find they get quite kind of lumpy and bumpy, if you feel, especially if you feel really tired. So this is a great energizing exercise, as well as one which will just naturally cause a little bit of emotional release for you because it's opening up everything around the heart center and all of these areas that are connected with the emotions. So now, just moving on from that, we're going to do the same kind of exercise, but this time, just follow along with me. So arms come up, okay, and now breathing out, moving the shoulders and the arms back. Breathe in here, and this time now, breathe out and move the arms away from you. Palms can be facing up or down. Just see how you feel. Just move them both directions. But have this sensation of releasing out through the fingertips. So have this idea that your fingernails are getting longer. And then come back up, breathing in. One more time, breathe out, move the arms back. Breathe out, fingertips, fingernail getting longer. Breathe in, the arms come up, back, breathe out, releasing. So from the center of the chest, all the way down the arms, out through the fingernails. One more time, breathing in, and breathing out. Breathe in, and allow the arms to come back down again. So this can be quite tough on the shoulders, so you don't want to do too many of them, but they're just very simple movements just to create this idea of expansion along the front of the chest, front of the collarbones, and then as you're breathing out, as the arms come out this way, you're getting that any of that emotion which needs to be released running down the arms and out the fingers, both sides, okay? So now stay with me now. So let's go again. So breathing in, arms come up. Breathe out the fingernails, out the fingertips. Now this time, turn the palms facing upwards. Breathe in, lift the palms up, just towards about head level, forehead level, and come in with some circles now. Breathing out, coming down to Dantian. So some of you have done this circle of exercise before, but this is a little variation on it. So one hand on top of the other, over Dantian. And again now, bringing the arms up, breathe in. Pulling the heads of the arm bones back, feeling that valley in the shoulders, in between the shoulder blades. Breathe out through the fingertips. And now breathe in through the nose, drawing lovely, fresh, energizing chi in towards your body, dropping the shoulders, dropping the elbows, and drawing that lovely energy down into Dantian. Nice. 
And now again, comes up, breathing in, feeling that broadness in the collarbones, bringing out along through the fingers, turn the palms to face upwards, breathing in, drawing in lovely, fresh, energizing, calming chi. And here now, palms coming to face each other, drop the shoulders, drop the elbows, drawing that chi down into Dantian. And now, maybe try and close your eyes and follow my voice and see how it feels with your eyes closed. So now lifting up the hands and the arms to shoulder level, breathing in, pulling the arm bones back, feeling that valley in between the shoulder blades. Now extending the hands outwards, breathing out through the fingertips, feeling the really lovely long arms, extending outwards, turning the palms upwards. Now breathe in, lifting the palms up towards the sky and drawing in, calming, balancing chi towards the head, and then dropping the shoulders, the elbows, palms facing each other, drawing the chi down through the center of the body into Dantian. And now let's try twice more, this time in silence. So if you need to look at me to follow, that's good, um, that's fine, but Let's try and do it in silence and see how it feels when you're just able to focus on yourself without listening to my voice. And when your hands are resting over Dantian, just keeping your mind in that area, breathing into the lower belly, feeling it expand, breathing out, feeling the lower belly shrinking. And now just to focus a little more on the Dantian area, again with simple movement and drawing some lovely chi in. We've done this before, some of you, in the live classes, and I'll put the link to this particular exercise in the replay next to this video when I send it out. So this is just drawing some circles out from Dantian and then drawing lovely chi back into the Dantian area. So just with both hands now, just making a circle in front of your body. So the backs of the hands lead this movement. All at Dantian level, so in front of your lower belly and then turning the hands, palms facing each other, Drawing lovely chi in towards Dantian. And not necessarily touching the lower belly area here, but just continuing with that circle. So spreading the chi outwards and drawing the chi inwards. So really just using a simple movement in order to create conditions for improved circulation of qi in the Dantian area. And that circulation on a physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual level, whatever your body and your mind needs right now. And for this, the breath is into Dantian here, as you draw the hand in. Breathing out as you lead with the backs of the hands. In. And you may now want to close your eyes. I'm going to do three more circles in silence. Breathing out. Breathing in. Now 
and then drawing one hand to be flat on the lower belly with the other hand on top. Closing your eyes. Again, bringing your mind back to Dantian. Breathing into the lower belly, feeling the belly expand. Breathing out, feeling the belly shrink. And as you're sitting or standing right now, just with your eyes closed, observe any sensations you feel in your physical body and also mentally or emotionally, how do you feel right now? The opening and that expansion in the chest area across the fronts of the tops of the arms to down the hands can be very releasing on an emotional level. So you might find now that you either feel maybe a little bit more emotional as you're feeling those emotions being released, or you might feel really calm. It can go one way or the other for people. It's different for everyone. So with your eyes closed now, just sealing in that lovely practice that you've done by circling the hands firstly in one direction, giving your belly a little rub, and then changing the direction. Keeping the eyes closed now. If you're wearing glasses, take them off, because you're going to bring your palms together and rub them until they get really, really hot. And then when you feel lots of heat between the palms of the hands, with your eyes still closed, place one palm over each eye, fingers facing up towards the sky or the ceiling, feeling the heat from your hands going through the eyes, through the back of the eyes to nourish them, and into the mind to calm and relax your mind. When you feel the heat has dissipated, then just finish this exercise by giving your face a little massage, a little face rub. To bring yourself back into the room, and as you do so, slowly opening the eyes. And just relax the hands either by the sides, or if you're sitting, just hands placed gently on the lap. So that's a few simple movements in which you can work with Qigong in order to balance and regulate your emotions. So in terms of Qigong kind of technical speak, we often talk about regulating, regulating the breathing, regulating the physical body, regulating the emotions. So regulating means to kind of balance them and make sure that they, you know, they, they don't become too extreme one way or the other. So you, as I said, you don't have to think about this too much. You just need to enjoy the lovely movements and that lovely flow of the movements. And that will bring about the conditions whereby the chi moves on that physical level. It helps to release then on an emotional level for you and thereby brings about more calmness of mind and also more emotional robustness in terms of being able to cope with all the kind of stuff that life throws at us from time to time because life can be challenging and so there are reasons why some people are much more resilient and seem to get through huge traumas and tragedies in their lives where other people would be completely overwhelmed and snowed under by it some people are just naturally much more emotionally robust than others but that's not to say if you're not naturally robust that you can't build up a little bit more of that resilience by regulating your emotions and using qigong is one way in which you can do it so i really hope you enjoyed that lesson as well as the emotional side of things i hope you feel a bit more energized from that because doing that lovely stretch and opening out the front of the chest here and really feeling that release in the back can be very energizing too. Um, so it does work on all levels, physical, mental, and emotional. So if you have any questions about this lesson, then please email me. My email is Janice at space to relax.com, or you can post a question in my free Facebook group, which is Space to Relax Free Qigong Group. 
So um, as always, we I, these classes are free. They're free for everybody. So please invite your family and friends if they you think they will enjoy it. But I do ask if you would like to, if you enjoyed the class and you think it was useful, then I do ask you if you'd like to, you can donate. I'll put a donation link next to the replay of this video and send it out by email as well. You can give as little or as much as you want. 50% of the cost of the donations usually would go to the nurses in the intensive care unit here in my local hospital. But this week, actually on Saturday, I am doing a swim across Trilly Bay, an open water swim, no wetsuit, of four and a half kilometers. And it's to raise money for the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. So these are the guys that protect us around our coastlines all the time and put their lives at risk on a daily basis to help to make sure that we're all safe in the water. So for this week only, if I receive any donations, then I will give all of it directly to the lifeboat. They are going to have a collection bucket at the end of the swim on Saturday and whatever you donate to me by credit card, I will give to them in cash on Saturday. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn some more Qigong from me, then you can do three things. The first thing is you can sign up for my free three-part Qigong video series, which will be delivered to your email over the course of around a week. And you'll find the link to sign up for that on my homepage on my website, which is spacetorelax.com. The second thing you can do is sign up and join me for the Zoom live classes. So I'll put the link next to this video somewhere either below or above so you can sign up and join me there. And the third thing you can do if you're watching this video on YouTube is hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. If you did enjoy this video, then please share it with your family and friends. Hopefully they'll join in and uh, have some fun with practicing Qigong too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.